What's up, everybody? This the biggest boss in the game, Ricky Rose, a.k.a. Ravioli. And this right here is my style history. Me growing up in Miami, style to me was Fila. That was style. Troop. That was style. MCM. That was style. All my style influences came from Young TV raps, gold chains, silk sweatsuits, ballets. If you was winning from Miami, motherfucker was gonna let you know they was winning. Ah, that's something that Groovy Lou, so my stylist Groovy Lou, gotta take responsibility for. Rose ain't know nothing about that shit. When you came to New York, force fed you, Air Hardy. Them jeans and them chains hanging off your pocket. Boy, man, that shit look horrendous. And back then, Groovy wanted me to wear Air Hardy so bad, he would go buy the real Air Hardy shirt, cut the logo off, and put it on a big and tall DXL 4X. So we kind of was halfway capping. Forgive me, those probably was some goddamn um, red monkeys. I don't even know what kind of shoes are those. Yeah. Maybe Nike boots. As you can see, I was wearing Prada shades. I'ma blame Groovy Lou for them ugly Prada shades. You know, at that point as an artist, I was buying jewels and trading them bitches back in to get that money back and get some more. Would you wear this outfit again? Yes or no? I'm not gonna say I wouldn't. Of course not the shirt. I'm sure my uncle's in Mississippi somewhere still rocking that motherfucker. I'm praying for anybody wearing Air Hardy right now. May the Lord forgive them Lahine. I love big pendants and I wish I still had those because to me, you know, the way my brand continues to grow, I believe those are 10 times more valuable than I actually paid for them. Just imagine if somebody sitting at home could purchase that Rick Ross chain right now with that MTV sweat that dripped down on the diamonds. You know, the beauty I see when I look at this jacket is my aspirations. I see my desires. I was a 350 pound motherfucker, just had the desire to be in a Fendi jacket. Was this a real Fendi jacket? Of course it? not, no. of course not. That was a groovy little whip game, gotcha. remix. I would have to pass on the jacket right now, you know what I mean? Yeah. I done lost a little weight, so I wear the real Fendi now, you know what I mean? It's something about that real fabric, and I'm not taking anything away from Groovy Lou. I just wanted Fendi. And guess what, he delivered it. That vinyl that they used and that spray paint that was used to put the Fs, Groovy Lou gotta wear that. The same way I had to wear it, now he gotta wear it. Yeah, look at that spray paint. You gotta put the Ed Hardy t-shirt on with the jacket Ooh, on. Not at once, please. Not at once. I'm talking about if you on some Halloween shit, that's cool. That looked like I was just on some cool vibe that night. Is that Coogee? Yeah. Oh, that's fly. Yeah, I could wear that again. I love Coogee, I don't wear a lot of it, but most definitely once it's the cool time of the year, I always love to rock Coogee pieces. Those Coogee sweaters that came out back then were priceless. I still have some of the same ones, even though I can't fit them, I just, I'm gonna hold on to those. I know if I auctioned off that pair of shoes right now, those J's with that Rick Ross DNA, it's no telling what no, they could possibly go for. I wanna say that's a Brightland that came out with the big bezels when they came out. They had to, like I say, be 06 maybe. That was a cool thing, I love that watch. See that bracelet, hold on, that bracelet. Yeah. Zoom in, come on now. <laughs> yeah, that's some fly shit. I believe I got that, like in, 07 from Johnny Dang type shit out there in Texas. You know what I'm saying? You go through Texas, them boys had them big bracelets and all that. I had to get me some of that. That's most definitely Miami. You know what I'm saying? That sun bright, you on some cool shit. You on the beach, you make a few moves. Why not? Live your life. That's what that color represents. Denim, ones, nice silk. It's gonna jump ship. <laughs> You know, at that point, I had started getting stuff tailor-made. That may have been for my homie. I don't know, Groovy Lou may have did that for me as well. Yeah, shout out to Groovy Lou, baby. 
That shit was fly. That I overlooked that. Oh, you couldn't tell me nothing right there. Woo! I know your one in rose right then. Them jeans was sliding off my ass too. Ooh. It might have been them Doshe high tops with the gold tips. Them Versace's and them silks was real then. I ain't have Ruby making me the, the three hundred dollar zip up joints no more. See, that's just some fly player shit. Yeah. Roll that sleeve up so that watch breathe. That's a presidential Rolex. I ain't mad at that, you know? But when you grow up a big boy, you don't mind having on that $25 brown leather joint like that. You a fat motherfucker, sit down somewhere, boy. Tell us a little bit about formal wear. Do you like uh, suiting up and dressing up for the occasion? Yeah, love suits, most definitely. Love to get a little dressed up, get classy. I love to hit the, the red carpet in the black. I love to hit it with the black, and I love to make sure my jewels do a lot of the talking, and I really want to be comfortable. At, by this point of me going to the Grammys, all of my, my loafers are soft loafers, and everything is custom made, so I didn't go into any boutiques and buy none of these looks. They all look tailor-made. It's most definitely a style statement when you can just drape something over your shoulder and walk the entire carpet and be comfortable because it was made just for your shoulders, your dick. <sighs> Let's talk about sweats a little too. A lot of times when you're performing, you wear the jumpsuits, right? Mm -hmm. So why? Is it a comfort thing? It's, a, it's a most definitely a comfort thing. I hit the stage, I move around a little more comfortable. If I get sweaty, I could take the jacket off, throw the jacket in the crowd, whatever it is. Whatever it is, it's most definitely a comfort thing. A lot of times, I get dressed around the jewels. The jewels are number one. Why not? Let's put on 20 chains. You know what I mean? It, it just take me back to, you know, just my early days. Sneakers was always, to me, growing up, the most important part of getting dressed. Fuck your jeans, fuck your shirt, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? In Miami, we wore white t-shirts. I love my new Dior. I love the Dior J's. I actually wore them yesterday. But when I think of my favorite J's, I go back to being a youngster. Those Map Lottos, those LL Cool J Troops. You know what I'm saying? Them shits touch me. I, you know, them bitches cost so much. I, ain't, I knew not to even ask for them. I didn't ask for them. But I just looked at them motherfuckers and was like, one day it'll come. Where do you like to get your silk shirts from? Do you go into like the Gucci store, Versace store and everything? I, most definitely, I believe that's a Versace. So that was just a silk button up, some white jeans and loafers I threw on. I wanted some rose chains I could stack and it just so happened I pulled them out. I had those Cartier shades on, them big stud VVS diamonds on them. I wore a Versace button up. Those may have been Vince shorts. Those are Pharrell custom Chanel Sneakers. Miami, that looks like Prime Fish or Prime 112? Prime, that's Prime 112, jumped out, Prime 112. The Rolls Royce Ghost, that was the event I was invited to by the Miami Heat. Dwayne Wade, Pat Riley, Jimmy Butler, it was a bunch of homies. That was a tailor-made joint, I'm sure Groovy Lou made that. Those were some Fendi sneakers, silk shirt. White jeans, silk shirt, semi trench, look like a gold bottle with Luke Bella, my favorite champagne, gold medallion with a penny in the center. I actually bought that from an antique store. What inspired this look right here? I believe what inspired that look is I had just released a record called Green Gucci Suit featuring Future. And what it was was really me just going back thinking of Dapper Dan and the inspiration that I got from all of the gear that he put together, all my favorite album covers when I saw Rakim, Eric B and Rakim, you know. And that's what I thought about that night in the studio. So I did a record called Green Gucci Suit. And so I believe Dapper Dan may have, you know, put that together. If not, it was just some cool shit. It was real retro. It was a real throwback to the, you know, the real hustler days. It felt like some late 80s shit to me. Colleen Roy was actually putting together my birthday party and 
Of course, this was a masquerade. They wanted to do something I've never done. I told her I've never even been to a party really where you wore a mask and this and that. So of course, she contacted someone to put my mask together, the crown together, just the whole vibe, and everybody came out. In that picture, that's YG, that's Jeezy, myself, and that's Usher. The, yeah, the red jewels, I just wanted to go with the crown, and it was just a whole vibe. Oh, that jacket, super fly, shout out to Groovy Lou. Groovy Lou custom makes jackets, custom does, really, he could does everything, he could do anything. You know, he a legend, New York City. Did some shit with B.I.G. back then, he done made history, fashion-wise, with a lot of people, but we really connected on some cool shit. Yeah, it's deeper than just the fashion, that's, that's family. Oh, you already know what it is, that was us celebrating the history of D-Wade. You know, the Miami Heat, just the whole family, the whole city came out, it felt good. You know, I had on my, my Heat jersey, my Heat hat, I had a Maybach Music custom, you know, thin jacket to throw on. Um, I gave, I gifted one to D-Wade as well, so I came out, everybody showed love, stood up, went crazy. And we just most definitely, you know, rep D-Wade. My style and what I love still remained the same. I'm just in another bracket now, so I got access to a lot of things. Now the, the clothing designers, Givenchy, all the Neiman Marcus, they open the doors. And other than that, the things I, I love, I don't believe that'll ever change. You know, I still love the jewels, love the fashion, you know what I mean? Shout out to Groovy Lou, everybody who helped build my shit, you know what I mean, and made it happen. Oh, Groovy Lou here. Man, you, yeah. Yeah, y'all, that's Groovy Lou. This the fucking, this the fucking guy designed majority of shit. I didn't even know he came up here. That's what, that's, I didn't even know my, I didn't even know my dog was in here. Y'all got the design of this shit. Y'all get to hear some of his words when he was putting that silk shit together he for said, Rose. He said everything, he said enough. I, didn't I keep it real? Yeah, he threw me under the bus, got me back out, cleaned me off, threw you, me back You feel me, the, you feel me, you feel me? I appreciate you. With that Air Hardy, you had to wear that Air Hardy, though, Groove. You had to wear that.